and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to make uh, my delicious vegan peanut butter chocolate banana milkshake smoothie. Um, it's super duper healthy for you. Um, there's lots of good things in it. It's super delicious. It's like basically a replacement for a dessert. If you're craving sweets, I swear, just try this and it'll totally curb your cravings. Um, Dixon and I have this smoothie probably at least every other day. Um, but we probably have it a good five times a week, to be honest. So I'm gonna just jump right into this and tell you guys everything that you need for this recipe and how to make it. So first, we put in our bananas. So usually, um, just for consistency's sake, we put um, frozen bananas. It's also good because you can freeze them at the ripeness that you want. So we put about two frozen bananas in, and that is, keeping in mind, this is for a two serving recipe. If you wanted a single serving, you would put in half the amount. So we put in two frozen bananas, and then we put in a couple handfuls of frozen spinach and frozen kale. Um, we don't have kale on us today, so we only have spinach. So we usually freeze that as well because um, it blends up really smoothly and we find that we don't taste the spinach flavor as much when it's frozen. So we throw a few handfuls in there. And then also we have our peanut butter. We do about two um, heaping spoons of peanut butter. And we use the natural kind. Um, often we use the Kraft 100% um, natural peanut butter. So it's really good for you, it has lots of protein and everything. And then we throw in about two tablespoons of hemp seeds. We often also put in flaxseed as well, but we don't have that on us today. So we're just putting in the hemp seed, but that's also a really good source of protein. And then we have our cashew milk. So, um, you know, if you weren't vegan, you could put in cow's milk, but um, cashew milk really does the trick for this. And uh, cashew milk is really good. It has lots of calcium and it has a really nice creamy texture. So it really helps out with that um, delicious texture um, in this smoothie. And then next we have our um, oats. We put oats in it um, just to add a little bit of hardiness um, and it makes it more of a breakfast smoothie when we do that. Um, and then also we add about two tablespoons of cocoa, which is awesome. Cocoa goes really good with the bananas and the peanut butter. And we often use just 100% natural cocoa too. And then we add a few dates. Um, we usually put about five or six dates into our smoothie and that dates have a lot of natural sugars in them. So it adds a really nice natural sweetness to it. Now, if you aren't um, totally vegan, you can put in some natural honey. We usually put about two scoops of honey in as well um, because we aren't totally vegan, but we're mostly vegan, but we do put two big scoops of honey in and that's super delicious. If you don't wanna put honey in, you can add a little splash of maple syrup for some extra sweetness, but with the dates in there, it's really not necessary. Um, and then after that, um, we just blend that up really nicely and we let it go for a few minutes just to get a really, really nice and smooth consistency to make sure that those oats and the dates and everything are nice and smooth and aren't adding an off-putting, chunky texture. Um, and then after we have it nice and smooth, um, we put in some ice. So we usually put, put about a tray and a half of ice, sometimes two full trays. Um, and that really gives it a nice icy um, cold texture and it's super duper delicious. Um, and if, you know, at the end you want to adjust the consistency, you can always add more cashew milk. Um, I don't have a specific measurement for the cashew milk because, you know, it's always different based on how much stuff we put in. But um, at the end, if you find it too thick, you can just add more uh, cashew milk. Anyway, so that is pretty much it. You're just gonna wanna blend it in that ice um, just so it's it's not super chunky um, and just icy and delicious. And after you've done that, you can pour it into um, a cup or a jar, whatever you feel. 
super delicious and I would highly recommend. You're probably gonna be hooked on this after you try it. It gives me a lot of energy in the day. We always start our days off with a smoothie of some sort and I always find myself very energized after this uh, particular one. If you're interested in any more smoothie recipes or plant-based um, meal recipes, just let me know in the comments and I'll definitely make some more videos for you. Anyway, if you liked this video, please subscribe and click that like button. If you have any smoothie recipes that you love, please leave them down in the comments because we are always eager to try new recipes. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.